now it's running. Yes. Where is it running? So, well, no, I don't need to do these three claps because the microphone is built in, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, update about the Nomad Town. So we have just maybe a short summary. What is Nomad Town? Nomad Town is one um, design of a resilience hub. So resilience hubs are popping up around the world in the moment, which is like really great news because they're desperately needed. And resilience hub is a place that is, you know, it would not be affected or is not affected by, um, I don't know, breakdown of some systems like food supply or electricity or whatever. Uh, but this is not like some kind of prepper scenario, but it's more like about understanding the need to um, explore alternatives like taking risks about new lifestyles that um, we might not feel like taking, but understanding that the risk of not taking these steps out of our comfort zone are like bigger than doing this step. Um, so here we are near UN, so in Eastern Finland. Um, there's a land that uh, we are going to rent uh, just outside of the city. And um, the idea is to have probably something like maximum 18 people living here. Something special about the nomad town when it comes to resilience hubs is that it's uh, intended to be mobile so that it can be moved if wanted or needed. Or also that just inhabitants can move um, from one nomad town to another, just take their own shelter and they will find the same infrastructure in place in the next location, um, which could be any kind of resilience hub basically. So, and here, yeah, just at the beginning, we have like I'll be moving in here within the next two, three weeks. Um, and yeah, very exciting, challenging to some extent, but like really positive, good, good feeling, good people involved. Um, also, schools have shown interest now to um, use this place as a place for experimentation and education, and that's that's also part of the idea to. Um, be open and organize courses so that people, um, whoever, like local institutions, educational institutions, uh, companies, even businesses, could, could be involved here um, and try out ideas and explore how high on the sustainability scale they can live. So people can try here to live here for, let's say, a month or two, still go to the same workplace, visit the same school, um, so not having to move away, but still can have the possibility to explore. And yeah, I think it's, that's pretty much about the concept of the nomad town. Um, we're lucky that there's a well here that we have to, there's a lot of nice works coming up, um, like making compost, um, deciding places for, I don't know, growing, uh, growing food and like greenhouses. Um, and central places, meeting places, places for courses, group kitchen. Um, some parts of buildings we might want to repair because some of the buildings are really valuable to preserve um, and also take them in our use if possible. Um, like just dry cold storage, like, um, or this maybe a mark gallery, like an earth fridge. Uh, that could be used. So like there's some interesting stuff in place and very interesting is that this place has been in use by people but has not been in use for uh, quite some time. So there are still traces here. We can see where something has been grown and also some really nice niches which is like very typical for this edge places. You have like a quite big overlap of uh, productivity and biodiversity. So you have like species that more run in the city environment and species that are more outside on the countryside or in the forests and here's an overlap so we have we're quite rich in species here is at least my observation and that's exactly already one of the concerns like of being you know low impact right over there like when we think of the location we are just away from the river so if any other animals going through the area uh, moving along the river and then further south um, with the with the edge of the lake, um, this is a very nice place for them to move through. And there's a lot of places right next to the ant hills, like typically always, like moose and deer sleeping places, resting places. Um, 
um, yeah, it's, it's for sure we will impact this place. So it's a bit of a weird feeling. Um, but on the other hand, it's, I think, a sacrifice, like where we think that you know, the benefits outweigh the, the impact by far because you know, it's just like basically moving the corridor a bit. So the corridor will still be here. Yeah. And if we do it right, you know, they will, they will know that this place can be used by them. And I think that's possible. At least we should try that. Okay. So that was the update to the Nobet Town. Um, short intro as well. And yeah, all the best. Take care. And see you. Bye bye.